Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the sand versus eggshell bin for an update. So I'm gonna get these lids popped off and we're gonna see how they did on those whole bananas with some blended food in each of the bins. I'm eager to see if they were able to work through a decent amount of it. So let me mount up the camera and we will take a peek. Okay guys, so here I am with the um, sand bin and there's a couple little climbers that I knocked back down in here, but the first thing I really noticed was all of the sprouts. So whatever I put in here must have had um, some sort of seeds in it, and I honestly can't remember what that was, but this must have been the blended food I'm thinking that had the seeds. And as always, they take off, but I'm gonna look a little bit around the perimeters here, see what we see before we dig deep into the middle and take a look at that banana. I'll be honest, I'm a hair nervous about it because I've noticed a lot more mites and um, a few of my little beetles this week in some of my bins and I'm worried that maybe it was too big of a feeding and I might end up with a bug problem. But you live and learn, so we'll have to see. Maybe it won't be a problem at all. It's just hard to know for sure until I dig down in there. I still see a few mites running along the rims of this bin, but that's not unusual. I'm not too worried about that. And again, those fast moving little spider mites, they're not dangerous, more of a nuisance, like most of the bugs that you get in your bins. Um, but I try my best to not give them any reason to proliferate. And by overfeeding, I could have given them a reason. So, I don't know. The, the castings in here are absolutely beautiful. This is where we fed in the middle this whole banana, if I remember correctly. I'm going to zoom in a little. There's a lot of worms all throughout this bedding. There's a cocoon right there. Here's the banana peel. And a lot of springtails, and I don't mind springtails. They're, they're actually really good decomposers, and they're not really an indication of any sort of unsafe factor in your bin. Um, but it looks like Almost, if not all of the actual, there's one of the beetles I was worried about. All of the material has been broken, broken down in here. And the springtails are happy. The worms are all throughout here. They seem happy. So I guess this is a good sign. I thought it was going to be worse and it's not bad at all. I was really thinking I was going to have a ton of mites. That's not really an issue. This is kind of standard. A handful of beetles here and there and a ton of springtails. But they picked they picked this this pretty clean. I um really thought that was going to be too large of a feeding for them. We only started with 50 worms in each bin. And if you guys are new to the channel, the goal was to see if um sand reduced the amount of reproduction because it lacks the high amount of calcium needed for cocoon production. Um, so far it's been too close to call in my opinion. Another cocoon. But um, what's encouraging right now is that they are blowing through this food faster than I really could have imagined that they could do. So I'm going to bury this stuff back up in the middle here. We'll take a look at the eggshell bin. And I'm kind of thinking I might not feed this week and give them another week to finish because they still have a good portion of that peel to work through. But um, we'll take a look at the eggshell first and then we'll make our final decision. But so far, so good. Nothing too bad like I was concerned about. The worms are doing well. We're seeing lots of babies. So they're obviously are reproducing in here. The question comes down to, are the eggshell worms doing better? Okay guys, so same thing over in the eggshell bin, a ton 
of sprouts. A few worms I knocked off the sides, but nothing. Nothing terrible. And again, I'm just going to kind of look around the perimeters before we jump right in with the banana. Look at those baby worms. There's quite a good number of baby worms mixed in here with these adults. So those 50 mature worms that we started with have definitely produced us at least a couple sets of offspring, I think. And they look really, really good. Handful of sprouts. Looks good. Well, so far so good. Lots of babies. Looking fantastic. So let's uh, dig right in the middle here and take a look and see how this banana peel is going. This is just the little remnants of newspaper. That's why I put new newspaper covers on last week because they had just devoured all the way through even the newspaper cover we had for them. But this should be where our feeding is. And same deal over here. There's a lot of worms around the bedding, around the banana, and the banana itself is covered in springtails and the worms seem to have picked it clean. There's another grain beetle. Where'd he go? I wanted to show him to you. There you go. There's like a brown colored beetle. They're actually common inside of like containers of flour, things like that. And I wonder if some sort of food scraps have that. Sorry, got a phone call in the middle of recording that. But yeah, basically those grain beetles can be found in flour containers, things like that. Um, and I think that um, fruit scraps, vegetable scraps might actually contain their larva or maybe they just live in newspaper scraps or cardboard scraps. It's hard to say. I don't see them anywhere else in my house and I'm pretty fanatical about bugs. So I think I would definitely know if there was an issue with them. A lot of people worry about bugs like that in their worm bins, but I will say I've never had a problem with these beetles. More than anything, they just kind of creep me out. But um, I think just like any of these other guys, they're here because there's material that they can decompose and, and live on, so I don't think they're going anywhere. I'm not seeing any cocoons in here. At least not at first glance. But again, I'm seeing a lot of babies and I am really surprised at how quickly they went through the banana we gave them. So I'm kind of conflicted, not wanting to overfeed, but also wanting to keep up the reproduction because there are so many worms of all different sizes. So for now, while I finish talking to you guys, I'm going to bury this banana peel back up in the middle. There's a cocoon. Okay, good. So we have cocoons in both bins. And there's another cocoon. So obviously these worms are doing really well in both of these bins. Um, I think I probably will just skip a feeding and I'll just make sure I'm very timely getting to my update next week. Um, I don't think it really matters either way because they do have stuff to work on in here, be it bedding or the leftover banana. They definitely have stuff in here. So um, we'll leave them, have this be kind of another low-key, not super exciting week, although I do think the progress is, is going quite well, and I'm impressed at how fast the worms are working through entire bananas. So um, come back next week. We'll, we will give a large feeding again to each of these bins, or at least what I thought was a large feeding. It might just be their new normal size feeding. 
and we'll do another update at that time. So let me know what you think, guys. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real, real soon for an update. I hope you have a great night.